Hey everyone, it's Tracy, and today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about a very hotly contested question that I get from people often. Now this is a subject that I go into detail about in my book, The Belly Burn Plan, but it's also something that always deserves more explanation and understanding. All right, so the question, does caffeine cause belly fat? Does it cause weight gain? Now it's not such a cut and dry black and white answer, but I'm gonna explain it to you, and then you can see if caffeine works in your diet or not. So caffeine, is found in a lot of different foods and many of them are very good for you. Coffee, for example, is obviously a really popular drink, but it does contain caffeine. That being said, lots of antioxidants, really good for you on many levels. Chocolate, another one that contains a lot of great antioxidants in it, but it also contains caffeine. And let's not forget about green tea, which has a lot of other incredible antioxidants in it and reasons to drink it, but it does contain a little bit of caffeine too. So how can caffeine cause weight gain? Well, let me explain this to you very simply. If you're someone that needs to have caffeine throughout the day, let's use coffee as an example. Coffee has a higher amount of caffeine than most other foods that are caffeine containing. So when you drink coffee or have any sort of caffeinated food or beverage, you raise your cortisol levels. And I've mentioned this in the past, but when you wake up in the morning, your cortisol levels, which is your body's stress hormone, are at their highest levels. And then as you carry on throughout the day and then as you get ready for bed, those cortisol levels begin to fall again. And that's very natural. It's how you're able to get to sleep and stay asleep. So if you are consuming caffeine, you artificially inflate your cortisol levels. So if you're someone who's experiencing a lot of stress in your life, uh, whether it's work-related stress or a physical stress, maybe there's an illness that's involved, your cortisol levels may already be elevated and more elevated than they would naturally be. So adding caffeine into that mix already may not be the best thing. So how do elevated cortisol levels create belly fat? Because in the case of, let's say, black coffee, for example, or a cup of green tea, there are no calories in those beverages. So how could those drinks possibly cause belly fat? Let me explain it to you. When you shoot your cortisol levels up, your body goes into fight or flight mode. And when your body goes into this fight or flight mode, it taps on the sugars that are available in your liver to help you out. So whether your stress is real or perceived, your body senses a stressor and it wants you to be able to protect yourself by getting out of the situation as fast as possible. So it shoots that sugar from your liver into your blood to go to your arms, your legs, those parts of your body that can get you moving and get you out of this stressful situation. Now you've elevated your blood sugar levels because you've moved the sugars that were in your liver into your blood. And when you elevate your blood sugar levels, something has to bring it down. And that something is insulin. So insulin pulls down your blood sugar levels. And when you do that, especially if it's unnecessary, unrelated to food or anything else, you will likely store belly fat. So does everyone store belly fat when they drink coffee, when they have green tea, when they eat chocolate? Not necessarily. Some people are simply more sensitive to caffeine than others. So my advice to everyone is, especially if you are someone who has some belly fat, you've been unable to lose it, and I'm not just talking about the pinchable stuff that you might have under your arm or the stuff that you might have on your bottom or your thighs, but I'm talking about the stuff that's through your midsection, visceral fat. If you are experiencing visceral fat, it might be worth going a couple of weeks without caffeine to see if you experience any benefit. Now, you don't wanna go from having two cups of coffee a day to going cold turkey because you will probably have the worst headache of your life. So step it down until you get to the point where you are totally caffeine free. Maintain that for a couple of weeks. Keep an eye on your body. Notice what's happening. Are you sleeping better? Um, are you measuring yourself? Is your waistline coming down a little bit? If you answered yes to either of those, then caffeine might not be the best thing for your body. If you have any questions about whether or not caffeine is right for you, causing belly fat, maybe not causing belly fat, try to dial it down for a couple of weeks to the point of elimination. After you go for a couple of weeks without any caffeine, then you'll know whether or not caffeine could be triggering a belly fat storage situation for you. So my advice is to try to eliminate caffeine, especially if you think it's something that could be triggering belly fat, because it can, even though it's calorie free, caffeine can absolutely trigger belly fat, but it's usually in people that are most sensitive to it. And let me tell you, a lot of us are. So if you go for those two weeks and you notice that you've lost an inch or two through your waistline, maybe caffeine is the culprit and you need to pay attention to that. 
If you've gone a couple of weeks, you've noticed absolutely no change whatsoever. You're, you're not sleeping any different. You haven't noticed any difference through your waistline. Then reintroduce a small amount of healthy caffeine. And that would be an organic black coffee, maybe some really good dark chocolate, some green tea, but don't go over the top. So that's the down and dirty on whether or not caffeine can cause belly fat. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel and leave a comment below.